Hello everyone, today we are going to crochet this crop top that's called pineapple crop top and it's very easy to crochet but uh, if you see each row is a bit different I decided to record a step-by-step -step tutorial showing to you almost each row so you have no questions about how to crochet it. Uh, before we start I talk about how to measure your size Actually, it all depends on the yarn and the hook. This one is a bigger size, it's like a cup C, a third size, I don't know, there are different size tables. So, uh, how I calculate the measure, you must just measure under your breast and then uh, crochet a sample, like of 10 cm and count how many stitches are in 10 cm, for example, Let's say you have 10, so then depends how many centimeters is your measurement, you multiply that number and you get the exact number of stitches you have to crochet. As I told you, this one I use hook number 3 and for this one, uh, because my yarn is much thinner than this one, I use hook 1.6 millimeters so it doesn't really matter the hook size and the yarn size it all depends on your personal body measurements and the only you need just one measure is under your breast so you know the length and then you just crochet until the end of the pattern so I hope it was clear so here for example um, unfortunately this yarn I have no label to tell you the size but um, you must have a hook which is smaller uh, than recommended because if not your whole space will be too big and it will be maybe too much visibility so you just I just used a hook slightly smaller than I would use normally and also for this one, I have a smaller hook, so the holes are much smaller. And um, yeah, the only measurement, it must be okay for you here. I mean, later you can regulate with the cord. So if it's a bit, not your size, it's no matter because with the cord, you can easily regulate here and here and as I told you it doesn't matter if it's hook number three four or one it all depends on the yarn and the pattern will be always the same like this so um, next thing uh, I want to tell you that if you are uh, for larger size I don't recommend bigger than cup C, you can uh, crochet like six rows like I have here. If you are smaller size, you can uh, crochet fewer rows. For example, this one, I crochet just two rows because I'm crocheting a very small size like cup A, cup B maximum. So if it's like for a kid, even one row is enough. And um, just I crochet two rows of double crochet and I have here in total 100 uh, double crochet and one in the center so 50 here one here and 50 in total 101 and here we will I show you in one row how to make this decrease and you will have to make the same decrease all the way around because it's just you uh, don't crochet one stitch each row one stitch before so you miss one you miss one chain three and crochet in the center and here you just chain three skip one stitch and go on and you just crochet in the next one I will show you later don't worry and here also until the end of the pattern you have to make these decreases until you have two stitches left then we stop all the decreases and here too you have the same 
and I show you both how to make the creases here, here and here. But you must remember that each row they will repeat and I don't want to repeat in each row. So just watch once and it will be easy for you to follow the pattern. And mostly I will show you the center where there is more complicated stitches. As already mentioned, I already crocheted two rows of double crochet in each row and if you don't know how to crochet, how to chain double crochet, the, I have the whole playlist for newbies where you can watch and it's very detailed. Now uh, we start to crochet this row, the center. So we will start with the decrease to make this decrease. So just chain three. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And yarn over. We have to um, chain three, skip one, the second stitch, and go into the third one. So, you get the triangle like that. If you don't want the, uh, the hole, you can make the normal decrease. It all depends up to you. And now, uh, double crochet in each stitch, yarn over, and in each stitch. And you must crochet until three loops and the three stitches you have left in the fourth stitch from the center you must stop and I show you the center so I have three stitches left until the center I skip them just chain three one two and three I remove already the marker yarn over and one double crochet in the center and uh, one chain one two and another double crochet inside the same stitch inside the center now we chain three again one two three I count one two three and I yarn over and insert the hook into the fourth stitch one two and you see something like this so this is the let's call it first row of the center and the second row is will be exactly the same so you crochet it by yourself and we meet oh sorry I didn't show you so first I show you here and then you crochet identical row number two and we meet at number three so here I have to make a decrease yarn over you have two stitches uh, one is the whole stitch and another one is the chain so we skip this stitch and we directly double crochet into the chain into the top of the chain Here you get a hole like that. Now one, two, three, and you repeat the same row. And we meet at row three in the center. I decided to point your attention in case you forget that 
uh, when you crochet the second row you must skip the last stitch here and just crochet like one before and skip one here so just chain into the next one instead of this one and you crochet and do the same increase as I show you here. I decided to show you the decrease at the end of row 2. So you have 2 stitches left. Yarn over, skip 1 stitch and crochet into the next one. And you have another hole. And chain 3. Keep one stitch and double crochet into the other one. So you continue and we meet at the center here. So here always double crochet, double crochet and just here I must show you each row. So now we are crocheting row 3. Uh, the only difference between row 3 and the previous ones is that instead of making one double crochet chain 2, one double crochet, you make two double crochet, chain 2, two double crochet. So I show you in case you have any difficulty. Chain 3 as in previous rows, yarn over. So as I said, one double crochet another one and then chain two and make one double crochet in the same chain space and another one so from the same chain space of the previous row you have two double crochet chain two two double crochet and you finish the center as before, chain 3, yarn over, skip, and double crochet in the next one. So, you have something that looks like this. And the next row is absolutely identical. We meet at the row 5. So, row 4 you must crochet by yourself. So the next row is exactly the same as row 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4. So row 5, we have to crochet instead of uh, 2, we must crochet 3 inside this chain space. So 1, 2, 3 and yarn over and one double crochet and the second one and one two chain two one two You have two and chain two again and another double crochet into the same chain space. So you got three. One, two, three sets. And you finish the same. So uh, we meet at the row 6. So we are starting our row 6 and here the only difference as you can see is 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet and chain 3 and then again 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. So just 1, 2, 3, chain 3 and in the first chain space you have to put one 
two double crochet chain two and another two double crochets here we chain three one two and three and make one double crochet into the next chain space and another one and chain two and again one double crochet and another one and chain three as you can see you have one set chain three and another set of two double crochet chain two two double crochet and you continue so let's have a look at row seven that you can crochet by yourself instead of chain three you have chain five and we meet at the row eight so row number seven you crochet by yourself it's exactly the same except that this chain three you have chain five all right now we are starting our row eight uh, you already had to finish row seven by yourself crocheting seven chain seven instead of chain uh three. Oh, sorry what i just said um uh, here you had chain three and here you had chain five and now um one two three so this one will be all until the end of the pattern so i will not repeat it again just every time we start the center you must make two double crochet chain two two double crochet and here until i don't change the pattern here so for now continue to make these two sets always and i just do them for this row So now we are in the center right now. Uh, it's very similar, it's just you have to yarn over and one double crochet under the chain and one, two, three, four, five, chain five and one double crochet into the same chain right. two four five and and you repeat the same two double crochet chain to the double crochet and we meet at the row nine and i show you how to make row nine so now we are going to crochet ninth row i have already finished this part uh, and now we have to chain two and in this chain space you have to put 10 double crochets one two three four five Eight, nine, 
and ten. Sorry. So it will look like that. And just chain two and continue to make this set. And uh, we meet at the tenth row. So now we are going to crochet row 10 and it's very similar and very simple. Just chain two here and insert your hook in the first double crochet and then chain two and into the second one. Chain one, sorry, here is chain one, chain one and the third double crochet chain one again and another double crochet so you must have in total 10 double crochet and between them chain one and in our 11th row i show you how to crochet the pineapple itself we are at our 11th row and you have to sorry add to these two another chain two and another two more double crochet because we are going to start also a small pineapple soon so we will have one big and two small on the sides so now you have a set of three I mean two double crochet two and two and now chain two and single crochet into the chain one space now one two three chain three and single crochet into the next chain space one two three single crochet into the next we are making the arches a lot of arches here then they are getting less and less and it has a cone shape that looks like a pineapple one two three a single crochet one, two, three. I hope you understood how to make it. You will get arches like that. So crochet until the end of the row. Here, don't forget you put three instead of two. The same like you made here. And we meet here. So uh, actually we are repeating the same thing we made here. So you can watch there if you need. Uh, we will meet exactly right here so now we are ready to crochet our 12th row I already started so here in the first chain space you have two double crochet chain two two double crochet then chain two again and repeat the same two double crochet two chain two and two double crochet So in total you have eight double crochets and the same like we had here so I hope it's clear here and now we are going to chain two and single crochet into the first arch and chain three and single crochet into the next one and you continue like that one two three and into the next arch so when we are crocheting the arches they will be always single crochet into the arch and naturally they will get less and less arches until you have one arch left 
and here you repeat the same into this chains first chain space you have two double crochet chain two two double crochet then chain two and the same here and the pattern so the next row we are going to have to have this row so we will already start the small pineapple we continue the big one so at this next row i show you how to move to the small pineapple we are almost at the end so I have already crocheted by myself, but I want just to show you that 14th row you just uh, instead of chain 2, chain 3 and all the rest is totally same. So we meet at the next row. This row you crochet by yourself. So I'm showing you our next row. In the previous two rows you had chain 2, chain 3 and now we have to chain 2. So, and yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, and chain three, and another double crochet here. So, it looks the same like here. And you continue uh, with the chain two and the same thing we already did many times two 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 and you know already how to crochet into the arches and you can repeat the same thing here just and just as we did here later we put instead of ten double crochet just five then instead of 10, we put here, exactly here, 5. And the next row, you put chain 1 between them, between these 5 double crochet. And we start the arches for the small pineapple. So, in the next rows that you will crochet by yourself, you have to put here where we just made chain three you have to crochet five double crochet here in the big one is ten here is five in the next row you crochet chain one between them for our arches and then you we will meet after you crochet um, one, two, three rows, three rows you crochet by yourself and then we meet at the row when you have to start the arches for the small pineapple and I show you how to uh, proceed with the big pineapple. I hope it was clear. If you will have still questions from this point, you can ask me in the comments below. But uh, it's just the same like here we are doing for the small pineapple. It's just smaller. That's why it's still, here is 10, here is 5. So here I have, as usual, two uh, double crochet chain two, the double crochet chain two. And now I'm starting to crochet into the chain space here where we had one double crochet chain three one double crochet so I will have five double crochet if for the big pineapple we had ten here we must put just five double crochet and all the rest as you already know uh you can also check with your size you can make more decreases here instead of skipping one stitch you can do two if you want it to have more narrower because i noticed that on this pattern i skipped two 
and so it got a bit narrower but uh, you can check according to your size because each of us have different measurements it's just to show you that this pattern is very adjustable for pretty any size i don't recommend bigger than cup c but it all depends on your personal preference 